gravity may be weak here on Earth, but it's not so weak across the cosmos. This invisible force varies on all the planets in the solar system and on the exoplanets we've discovered orbiting other suns. To experience what gravity feels like on these worlds, I need to go for a spin. This is a centrifuge. It was built in the 1950s to test whether fighter pilots had the right stuff. But it's going to allow me to feel what it would be like to stand on the surface of any of the planets in the solar system that are more massive than the Earth. And in fact, also, what it would be like to stand on some of the planets that we found around distant stars. All right, I'll have to strap you in, first of all. Let me see the roll up. This is a gonna go switch. It's an emergency switch in case you something happens and you release it, the sensors will stop. I was just told by the F-16 fighter pilot who's just been in here that it's a hundred times more uncomfortable than being in a jet fighter. And I was kind of confident because I've been in jet fighters and didn't find it too uncomfortable, but apparently this is a hundred times worse. Doors closed again, profile is there, safe limits are there, doctor is ready. You may will start up the centrifuge, uh, Brian, and bring you in orbit. And it happens in three, two, one second from now. The first planet I'm traveling to is Neptune. Its gravity is just fractionally stronger than here on Earth. So this is the gravitational field on Neptune, and you feel, you know what, I could probably get used to this. I could probably live on the surface of Neptune. Can, can you lift your hands a little? There we go. Yeah, and down. And it is actually quite an effort. It, it is noticeably heavier. It's like having a reasonably heavy weight in your hand. You ready to go to 2.5G? Yes, yeah, so and I will move move from Neptune to Jupiter. Let's go there. Jupiter is over 1,300 times more massive than the Earth, but because it's mostly gas, it's not very dense, so its gravity is just over twice as strong at its surface. Well, now, actually, it is quite difficult to lift my hand, and that's 2.5G. I wouldn't want to sit here for half an hour. And can you lift? Lift both of your hands above your head. See what happens Let's there. Let's see. So actually, just about, but actually, it's a, an immense amount of hard work. So it would be hard work living on Jupiter. Let's go to 4G. Okay. Actually, this is heading to a, a planet around us, a planet called Ogle 2 TR. L9b, which is around a star in the constellation of Carina. It's one of the exoplanets we've discovered. Oh, and there we go. Now that is actually beginning to feel quite unpleasant. Can you describe what you're feeling? A very heavy face. All right. My head is extremely heavy. How about your lungs inhaling, exhaling, breathing? It's much harder work. I can't lift my hand off my leg. OK. And that's at 4G. Yeah. But my head and my face feel very, very heavy. Yeah. It's quite an unpleasant feeling. We'll go to 5 and let me know if you have any visual disturbances. I'm now en route to a newly discovered exoplanet, WASP-8b. 4.4. This world sits in the small and faint constellation of Sculptor. Quite hard to speak. 
It has a gravitational force nearly five times that of the Earth. All right, we'll go to 5G. Uh, very foggy. OK. Very foggy. Very foggy. Still foggy? Yeah. All right. Take it down. OK, we'll take it down. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> My face felt a bit saggy, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you looked a little different. <laughs> it was uh, quite unpleasant that time, actually. So it went very quickly up to 5G. And what happens is, well, for me anyway, is vision becomes very, very foggy. Just the whole thing just blurs and blurs and blurs. So you realize that, that we're obviously very finely tuned to live on a planet that has a gravitational, an acceleration due to gravity of 1G. When you go to 2G, it's difficult. When you go to 3G and 4G, it becomes unpleasant. And 5G, anyway, for, for me, was uh, on, the, on the border of being uh, so unpleasant that you pass out. So although gravity feels weak here on Earth, it certainly isn't weak everywhere across the universe. And that's because gravity is an additive force. It scales with mass, so the more massive the planet or star, the stronger its gravity.